here today to make some junk journal jewelry with y'all, or in this case, um, cupcake doily jewelry. Um, and I don't think I've ever shared that on camera, so I thought that I would, you know, do that with y'all. Uh, so. Yeah. I just bought this, just, um, you know, a faux gold necklace. I've yet to find any massive amounts of chain because I, I make jewelry a lot. Um, and I would like to find somewhere to get a good length of chain that now here's the key because i do have some good length of chain i do it's just um the holes are not big enough a lot of times for me to get the connectors through or if i can get the connector just it's so difficult that it's not even worth doing it's very aggravating Got a bunch of beads over here on the side. I think I'm gonna do a bunch of soft pink beading. Don't know how much. Maybe that. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if I'm going to do any white curls, and if so, do I already have any open, because I really should have some open. A lot. A lot. There's white. One. I don't know if y'all wanted to, to look at some of my beads. This is one of my cases. And I didn't want to cut that yet. Oh, I'm glad I did that because here are some, some white right here. But I decided to show y'all my beads. Okay. I think that's all I'm going to use. And I may not even use all of those. I just want to get out some stuff that I know, you know, around what I want to use. And here's another. Let's see. Let's go look in this box next. See if there's anything I want to use in here. Those itty bitty pinks are cute. Are those pinks or creams? That was a pink, but that's a cream. But yeah, there's some pink in here. Okay. Is that one? And then I have this one. Let's see here. And I do have some more of my other room, like full entire jewelry pieces that there will come a point where I'll either add them to those or cut them and pour them. And they're just depending on the mood that I am when I add them. Um, I did want to use some of these 
Hobby Lobby was having a sale the other day. My husband dropped me off to go pick up something specifically. And um, he said, take your time. So I did. And I found sales. <laughs> so I thought, ooh, these would be pretty for my cupcake doily that I'm working on. All right. Do I need to cut that? I do. I don't know what this come from. Oh no. There we go. All right. Let's see, am I going to use that? I don't know. I don't think I am. Y'all, excuse me, my, <laughs> my, um, oh no, well, I guess I could, I can't, can I use that? No, I don't want to use that. I'll be right back. I forgot. You know what? I, 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 will, I will try to use that. If not, I might have to go get my other one. That was not the one that I meant to bring. Um, but anyway, I've been doing, I was doing some stenciling earlier. And when I went to clean the, um, the spatula, y'all know, I can't, I cannot think. And the, um, yeah, I think that's going to be, is that going to be too big? When I went to clean that and the actual stencil and the top off and everything, I did not wear gloves and... It just sucks some moisture right out of your skin. It really, really does. I don't know. That's that's not bad. That will be okay. I think that's really pretty. Do a few of those. Get down there. Yeah, that one didn't, that one did not turn out as close as I like it to be. Sometimes I do absolutely excellent with my jewelry making. And, and you know, it's going to turn out beautiful, period. Um, but it says loops right there that, you know, after you've done it for a while, if they're not absolutely perfect and you don't get it, you know, exactly how you want it, it's like just a little bit of... <laughs> It's fine. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's still going to be beautiful. But 
but just just a little bit or maybe it's, it's probably just me probably I was just giving my class a not a le full lecture but I was just talking to my class today about you know perfectionism being a perfectionist and you know how it's just such a source of um, anxiety it's, it's not good you know that we should all do our best to you know whenever your autograph is on something whenever you have done something whether it be something small or something big of course it should be the best and you should give it your best but that sometimes you know good enough is good enough and, and that's okay that, that's fine And I have gotten so much better with it. I really, really, really have. I just don't stress over the small stuff as much as I used to like that. But it's still a struggle sometimes. You know, like I said, that, that will be beautiful no matter what. It's ridiculous that that would even make me, that that would even bother me even a little bit. But see, that one's right. <laughs> that one makes me really happy. But, you know... A work in progress. A work in progress. I'm going to leave that one just like that. For any of you legit jewelry makers watching me, I know. I'm not a jewelry maker. I just make jewelry for my journals. And um, sometimes I break it. <laughs> but my technique is not perfect. I get it. But it's better than it was at one time. The problem with those big baubles like that it's very 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 hard to grasp how it needs to be grasped by that piece much better I'm thinking now that I'm going that I'm going to line them all with the little tiny pinks. I'm liking the little tiny pinks.
One, two, three, four. How's everyone's weather going? Here, it's been absolutely freezing, freezing, but no snow, no snow. Oh no, mm -mm. we're still all at work. I live in the South, so, you know, when it snows pretty good, the school shut down. Now, when it snows even a few flakes, the uh, public, you know, the K through 12 are going to shut down because of the buses. Well, I get that, I do. And where I work, It does not, come on, necessarily shut down if there's a little bit of snow. It has to be, the driving conditions have to be dangerous in order for it to shut down. But if there's enough, it will. And I could use couple of days. I just, yes, I would love to have the time off, um, you know, for snow day. I mean, yeah, who wouldn't? But I love the peacefulness of the falling snow. And it's, you know, just almost like, like time stands still. It's just, it's so beautiful. So peaceful. There's just something very to me, almost spiritual about it, almost. You know, I'm just probably silly thinking and talking that way. That's just the way that I feel. I know everybody doesn't, and no, I don't live in the North. I'm sure I know that there are a lot of people that are just sick of it. I know, I know, but um, but I love it just to sit, have the um, the blind open, and just watching it fall. Oh. go walking in it if I'm feeling adventurous my husband I'm a weenie y'all I'm an absolute weenie I I am quite adventurous I am but I get cold what's what's really funny is I also get hot very easily um I have a condition that um that one makes me extremely hot sometimes but also if I get in heat it could be kind of dangerous for me. But the cold, I get cold so easily. And I've got nothing, no idea, honestly, if um, if it has anything to do with, you know, what I deal with or not. But I get cold so easily. And I get hot so easily. The other night when it was 14 degrees, of course, we had the, the air conditioner on in the bedroom, which we always do, no matter... No matter the temperature, um, you know, because the heat's on in the house, we don't want our animals, you know, our birds or cats or sun, obviously, to be cold, so the heat's on. But we have the air condition on 57, 52, something like that in the bedroom. I don't remember. He's, my husband said so. I'd have to ask him. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's cold in there. And then I have my blankets piled on me. And throughout the night, I will peel back. You know, first I take off the um, electric blanket. I turn the air, I mean, electric blanket off first. Then I take the electric blanket off. Then the white blanket's going to come off. Um, then my long pajama pants are going to come off. And I'm just, you know, going to have my underwear on. And if I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, that's going to come off. And I'm just going to have a tank top or a sports bra. It's, it's, it's hilarious. I'm I'm ridiculous. I get it. And my husband loves to go walking in the woods in the snow. And of course I want to go too. Of course. It's of course. But we usually don't make it too too far before I begin to before I begin to hurt. I need to come back home. But y'all would be proud of me. It was last, I think it was last 
February, me and my daughter and my son-in-law went snow tubing. And I, yep, I was free. No, I wasn't even really all that freezing, y'all, because I was dressed for it. Um, it was fun. We had fun. And I wasn't a weenie, and I did it. You know, I might need to replace these. These are just not nipping at the end. Like, this should be nipping. My husband couldn't get off of work in time to go with us. But, you know, it makes me wonder if maybe he's the weenie. Maybe he didn't get off work on purpose because he's scared to get... No, I'm joking, I'm joking. I might have to cut it off right back here. Just I don't know what's up with that. It's not nipping like it should. All right, I think the rest I will do singly, singly, singly. Wish I had some shorter thingies here. Thingies, yes, I do. I like to have some shorter thingies instead of wasting all that. Did not make that low enough. Let's see if I can pull that over. Yeah, I think I got it. I do not want to cut it right there, but it's not nipping well. Let's see here. Okay. Is there anyone else out there in the junk journal world that enjoys making the um, the jewelry for them? I know that Sheila um, Bowen um, does, and hers are just oh, wow, 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 wow. They're just beautiful. And I think that Doreen enjoys making it. it seems to me like she told me that she did. Could be wrong. I don't know. But I do, this is just so soothing to me.
Is there anyone out there who buys their jewelry so they don't have to make it? You know, I have to say there are some times. Now, I do not buy jewelry just to, um, you know, because it's already done and to put it on my, um, my stuff. I don't. But there are times when I will see a piece of jewelry and think, oh, my goodness, this this or a part of this would, or you know, whatever would be absolutely beautiful on a journal or a cupcake doily. And I will buy it and either, um, you know, rework it or half it or even empty it, but set it up the same, but, you know, not use as much or just make it a little different or even use a part of that or even a whole piece on, you know, in the journal just because I love it just the way that it is. You know, absolutely gorgeous. So that does happen sometimes. Um, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and attach these and see if anything looks lacking, if I need to add any more, or if I'm happy with it. I've got a good bit here, so let's have a look. Do you get that? You get back. I always put on, you know, what I call my key pieces first, or my statement pieces. And I want to stagger that, I think. that like that okay
Where's the opening? There we go. We got that was for that and I think this one should go up here that like right there All right, I've got a white and a pink one left. Let me see how this is looking so I can determine where these are going to go. That is like that. Oh, it's so pretty. This one has to go on this side for sure. Um, hmm. I think it's going to go right in there. because it needed a little bit more touch of a soft pink in there. Okay, and that one will go I think it's going to go right down here. All right, y'all, after I'm done with this part, I'm gonna let y'all see how it looks on the cupcake doily. It is the one that um, Happy Mail Magic won for the giveaway. Um, and then the next video will be, it won't be part of this video, but I will have another video after this one, giving y'all the full entire flip through of the cupcake doily. I have I've done a, a lot more since y'all saw it, even like when I said I think the panels are finished. No, they weren't. No, they weren't. I did more. So, all right. Move that out of the way.
All right, I'm back, and I've got the cupcake doily. Y'all, That it is finished. I'm not even going to give y'all a sneaky peeky right now. This is as much of a sneaky peeky as you get because I want the winner to have it in hand before I do the flip through because, you know, something should be a surprise. And like I said, I have done so much since the other time that I showed it. But I did add a little, little clip here. Here's the... The finished piece of jewelry. I think it's really pretty. I hope she likes it. And I'm going to put it on. There, and then tighten that up. She can remove it. Oh, that's so pretty. It has a clippy on it so she could remove it if she wanted to use it for something else. Anyway, I am loving it, and I, of course, would like to know what y'all think, and like I said, the next video will be me showing y'all a full flip through of the book, so that is all for today. Thanks for watching. We'll talk again soon. Bye.